Good morning and welcome to another weekly vlog. It is Monday. I had quite a productive weekend. I had my my cousin's baby shower on Saturday, which was nice to see with the family. And then yesterday, my mum and dad came around and helped me with a couple of things in the house. Put some prints up. So excited about them. They're from a company called, I think, Rome by 42 Pressed. And they're like, it's like a map. I don't know how you call it, like graphic illustrator map. So I've got one in London and then on the opposite wall I've got Paris. Love them very much. And then also I have had this light fitting for about two years just sitting in the bathroom upstairs and then my dad finally came and put it up. Only problem is I don't have any bulbs <laughs> so I've got a bulb from a lamp in there and I need to get some more bulbs today but yeah I'm really happy with it. I also took my ivy out and um, put it in the bin because it was just dying but my mum helped me prune these plants so they should be good now. I am off now to, I think I'm going to Brixton, I've got a meeting with Tangle Teaser, really excited, um, I think they've got some new products out so I'm just going to learn how to use them and then I need to come back. I sold loads of stuff on Depop yesterday, I basically also spent most of yesterday photographing, decluttering and putting stuff up on Depop so I need to pack up everything once I'm home all the stuff that I've sold and send those out, go to the post office. Because basically I've got my my new housemates moving in on Saturday, so this is like my last week of living alone. I, it's kind of sad. I really, really loved living by myself and it's gonna, I think I'm gonna find it quite hard adjusting to sharing my space again, but um, I really, like she seems absolutely lovely and I'm really looking forward to it. So look, I've just been trying to declutter everything down here and move stuff upstairs. So I hope you don't mind Mind, but this vlog is going to be an awful lot of decluttering and sort my life out with a couple of stuff thrown in. I've got my circus performance on Thursday, so I'll get my mum or dad to film my show when they come round. Yeah, I need to go now. I need to go to Brixton. Show you what I'm wearing really quickly. I got this like all in one body jumpsuit thing from ASOS a couple of, well, like four years ago now. Um, I love it so much. It's got like a mesh panel here. I'm not wearing a bra again because it's too hot. I've just added a little belt and it's just like floor length. And I've added my favourite black sandals again. I'm also wearing my granddad's watch, which I love very, very much. In there, see, look. Yeah, yeah. See? And you actually, can you see that? Like, I'm just yeah. like, releasing it in there. home now lunch is a bit of a mishmash but i've got fish cake with some mushroom pasta and some beetroot kind of salady stuff with goat's cheese spent a good like hour wrapping all of these depot packages up there's loads in there so yeah i'm gonna post these tomorrow and i'm gonna have time today by the stairs to go down oh also i've decided that i'm gonna hang this map up here on this wall to like because it's such a big wall I think it might like help split it up a bit. So my dad put in, tried to put a nail in here, but it needs a drill, I think. So we're gonna do that soon. Maybe I should get something for this wall as well, because it is very bare here. Tonight, I am going for a drink with someone who I fancied when I was like 15. I don't know if it's a date, um, but I haven't seen him since we were like that old. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm actually quite looking forward to it quite nervous it's weird i need to decide what to wear i would love to keep this on because it is very boobyish this top but um i don't think i look very cool in the kind of baggy bottoms right my pre-date ritual is always have a shot what's it gonna be today what do we fancy i'm gonna go for my usual which is honey jack daniels this is how many dates i've been on this year <laughs> Joking. That would be funny if it was so. That would be like a nice measurement of dates and drink. Maybe when I fill the bottle, I'll do like, a, I'll do something. A Q and A about my dates, right? Chin chin. I am so hungover this morning. <laughs> I just went to Circus to book myself onto level three of next term. Um, and I'm so hungover. I've got myself a ginger beer to try and help. <laughs> Left the house with no makeup on this morning. So sorry if I look rough. Um, I had a really good time. Can you even see me? 
had a really good time last night, but I got so drunk. I haven't been that drunk in a really long time. I think I had that shot before I left, then I had three large glasses of rosé, another shot, and a cocktail, and I was like practically on the floor. But I made it home safe, but yeah, it was a really nice evening catching up. Well, I feel, I feel like I look so disgusting today. Um, I've just been brainstorming some video ideas because I want to try out some new content. Um, so I've just been like jotting down notes and stuff. I'm going to spend all day tomorrow filming and editing. But I thought um, I'd just get my life back on track a little bit today and do some more decluttering. Like putting stuff away. So this is super embarrassing. But this, this and this is all... P.O. box kind of samples so I need basically it's like taking up quite a lot of my room and it looks really messy and and unorganized so I am going to go through all of this now and work out basically like put put it all away work out what I want to review and like maybe put together some like little packages for giveaways so yeah I'm going to sort all through this now hopefully it won't take too long also I'll probably put um, some music or podcast on I've got this speaker which has been an absolute godsend for like getting stuff done like housework because i just link it to my phone and then play either podcast or music quite loudly so i can hear it it's great why have i let things get this out of hand right i am going to give this a little bit of a clean and then take out some of the polishes that i don't want anymore because I've got loads there by Nails Inc. And I think it might be nice to have like a whole row of them. Here we go. I think that's not looking much better apart from the bottom row. Which is just kind of put like random ones. But yeah. Nails Inc. Barry M. Barry M. Models own. Like Nails Inc. Like aftercare. Like top coat, base coat. Illamasqua. And then lots of glitters. I've also got this UV torch. So you can see what ones are... I don't know if you can see that, like what ones are UV, like that Alimasco one is, these ones are all like proper UV, I don't know if you can see that, it's like a detective game, non barium, but then these three at the end are like UV activated. Would anyone like a UV now art video? Let me know. We also have some of these new brushes from Real Techniques and oh my goodness, it is like the most luxurious brush I've ever owned. The detail on this brush is beautiful from like the shape, the heaviness, the fact that it's like ombre blue to black and then the bristles, oh my goodness, I've never felt anything quite as soft as that. This one here is a soft complexion brush and optimised for layering powders without disrupting makeup already applied. I'm going to get them all out of the packaging now and put them in a brush holder. Great storage solution for sheet masks. I do have way too many but I love them and I do use them quite a lot. I have this like crate here and I used to keep all my Roaccutane stuff in it like lip balms and um, medicine and prescriptions but now I don't need that anymore. I've decided to convert the bottom into a sheet mask drawer. I still need to sort out these top two because they're a bit random at the moment. But yeah, how good is that? They're mostly um, face ink by Nails Ink ones, Origins ones and random ones. And then I've got like actual like pots of masks at the back as well. I think I'm doing well. I've just got makeup left to put away now. And then I can hoover the room and put away everything else that needs to be put it away raining so hard but i need to go to the post office so i'm going to do that now as well just get out of the way it hasn't rained in a really long time so i'm quite excited to go out in it oh got my bag full of depop stuff so i'm gonna put put my rain mac on <laughs> and go home took ages in the post office i think i had 12 parcels so it took a bloody long time oh i need to sit down oh this is sad isn't it sitting on my kitchen floor popped to um sainsbury's and picked up some garlic bread for dinner tonight because i want to have ravioli don't need it i haven't got the biggest appetite at the moment but carrot batons from hummus I wanted more of those Jacob's Craft Kiss things, but they didn't have any, so I went for Doritos for hummus as well. Got some cinnamon and raisin bagels for breakfast, some exotic juice, and some panty liners. 
sorting out this cupboard um, has been on my list of things that I needed to do for quite a while now, so I'm just doing it now. I can only get up here though if I push myself up. And I've just found hidden at the top at the back where I haven't been able to reach for god knows how long. Um, my brighter bee mug. I got this from Etsy. It has the date, my wedding date on it. That never happened, but I love the cup still. <laughs> Put that there, and then also this cup. I don't know whether to smash it or keep it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just sorting through cups that I don't need anymore and making room because I know that my new housemate will probably have her own stuff that she might want to bring as well. So just making some room in here. Did I show you guys this ravioli I bought? I don't think I did. I got it at the weekend um, and I love mushroom ravioli, but oh wait, this isn't ravioli. This is this thing. I've never heard of that. Um, but the one that I liked, like the cheap one, wasn't available in Tesco, so I had to get this really fancy one. It's got black truffle in it. I love mushroom and I love truffle, so I'm so excited. How would my little bear like a carrot? No. <laughs> no. <gasps> Naughty. Naughty. No, I didn't mean to give you all of that. Oh my god. <laughs> she's taking it straight to bed and now she's eating it in bed. That is very bad table manners, little one. Very bad table manners. Oh my god, look at that little hand. Ravioli update. Wasn't that great? I've had better ravioli from cheaper places, basically. So yeah, wouldn't have that again. Although I do have to have it again for lunch tomorrow or dinner. I feel like I might move this plant up there. What do you think? Should we try it? I mean, I am going to get some new ivy. I just feel like this bit looked too cluttered. And I feel like I could spread it out a little bit. I need to clean this all. And I'll keep it there for now and see how I feel tomorrow. Also, still haven't got bulbs. I keep forgetting. I need to add it to my list to get bulbs. I think I'm going to try one of these. It's like a uh, tea pigs iced tea tea bags. And I'm thirsty and this sounds like exactly what I need right now. So one tea bag, water, brew, and then serve, add more water and ice. Oh, oh my god, that smells so good. That is summer in a bag, that. Beautiful, what cup should I use? I might go for this being as it's an iced tea. Oh hello, I have been filming all day. I woke up and started filming at about half eight and is now half three and it's taken that long. I filmed a get ready with me, which is why it took so long. Um, I'm just importing the footage now. 49 shots I took. I'm really excited to edit this now. Yeah, it's half three i haven't eaten lunch or anything yet just the little food i made for the video um but yeah i'm gonna go and do that and then i think i'm going to an event tonight i was invited a couple of days ago so it's quite late notice but i thought it'd be nice i think it's for the hair brand the away the way is that how you say it i don't know um also i did this makeup look today it's just really minimal really quick i need to tidy up the mess i've made as well this is my quick light lunch <laughs> so what ones are the most popular ones um so dry shampoo foam yeah so this is a sort of lived in the next day you will say you don't want to wash your hair especially for Amazing. you because of color um you don't want to strip the color too much so this is great so i'm going to dinner as i said and a guy just came around and did my hair i feel like duffy we have like a half up, half down do from the back. It looks so pretty. I'll post a picture on my Instagram. This little girl's just woken up. Just say hello before I go. Oh, my flies are all done. I love you so much, little one. Top is from Topshop. Jeans are from Topshop. Let's do my flies up now. I need to redo my makeup on the train as well because it's all smudging. Hello. I can't believe I haven't vlogged yet today. That's really, really bad for me. I've been editing 
the video I filmed yesterday, recorded the voiceover, edited it, all went really well, really bad, just had a nap. I'm just quite tired. I feel like I'm permanently exhausted all the time, um, despite getting enough sleep, which is weird. So I just had a bit, a little bit of a nap because I've got my circus performance tonight. So my mum, my dad, my sister and her boyfriend are all coming down to watch me and I've never really had anyone watch me before apart from my ex. So I'm really nervous, like I've got butterflies. <laughs> Just trying to work out what to wear. I'd love to wear something like this, but I'd do damage to my legs, I think, because you'd get rope burn at the back. I need to find some leggings, and I kind of want some, like, I don't know, like, maybe some, like, lace or something going on. My routine is a bit gothic, I think, and a bit, like, passionate. We shall see what I come up with. I've just made myself a cup of tea, and I kind of want to pack up some more deeper borders and take those to the post office before in which case I need to leave in half an hour or oh, I need to find my tripod for this camera so I can actually record my performance tonight as well feel good for a minute that it blows the lack of an aphorism sticks in your throat with I.O. dippers of an aculo I go why have pride in a lyric when all these Mm -mm -mm. Hello, sorry I didn't finish the vlog last night. I was exhausted when I got home and went straight to bed after a cuddle with Echo. I decided not to wear much makeup today, I've just put some CC cream on. I'm gonna meet my sister now, we're gonna go for some lunch and um, I need to get some light bulbs finally. 
please remember to get light bulbs katie um, and then she's gonna come here and help me clean she does like cleaning on the side and she's amazing at it so i've asked her if she can come and help me clean my flat before my housemate moves in tomorrow so today's the last full day of living alone sad i'm also not feeling very well today i feel like i'm getting a cold i feel like it's like been brewing and on the verge for the last week but today i feel like finally like groggy in my head but i've cancelled my plans for tonight basically and my sister might just stay for dinner instead let's go take you to my favorite cafe i have sourdough toast with scrambled eggs and a latte mm -mm -mm. gotta get that shot <laughs> my sister's got the most amazing banana bread ever with yogurt honey seeds and a bit of bacon on top it honestly if you ever come to leightonstone Come to World Peace Bakery because they do the best banana bread ever. Bought some nice flowers from Tesco. Oh, also got my light bulbs, <laughs> finally. So I'm just going to put these into some vases now. There we go. How beautiful are those? I really like these. I'm not sure what they're called, but they're really pretty. How cute is this? <laughs> I have been decluttering today. Um, This is my base drawer so it's kind of like powders some highlighters foundations primers stuff like that concealers i've just decluttered my lip drawer this is looking so much better than it was i can actually see everything now it sticks here all of my kind of nude um lip glosses and liquid lipsticks red some high-end ones here that i really like and then what are these called these are like a mix of things that i want to try and some of my grandma's old um lipsticks that i are they're way too sentimental for me to get rid of and then i've got some ones at the back here which are like for um halloween looks like a bright purple which i'd never really wear but a bit odd shades to use in tutorials so now i'm going to do this one i've kind of separated some new products out that i've just received um so i need to kind of sort feet these through and put Put, put them away basically in these eyes stuff as well so I'm gonna have to do that after so here it is after I think I've still got an awful lot but I'm gonna try and work my way through it a bit more now that I know exactly what I've got in here lots of illuminating concealers and concealers color correctors primers a couple of like CC creams lots of powders that I want to try and more primers and stuff look how beautiful this is YSL it's like got like gold flakes in it done lots of tidying I'm really happy with how my room's looking there's actually like floor space which is brilliant i've decided i'm going to do more tomorrow as well because i don't like um so my housemate moves in tomorrow i don't want to be like i don't really know what to do like i don't want to be in her way when she's unpacking but at the same time i don't want to like not be here at all in case she's like got questions and stuff and then i thought it might be nice if we spend the night together i don't know what she's thinking i've got a really itchy eye i don't know what's happened is really itchy i think it's hay fever um but yeah i've moved echo upstairs as well and so now she's with me again um and i'm just thinking that i'll probably just spend the tomorrow and the whole weekend just doing some work and decluttering more up here but my sister is here and her friend is coming around later and we're gonna get a takeaway watch love island oh I came upstairs for my laptop. What am I doing? So yeah, it should be a nice evening. I'm just gonna take it easy. I would really like a bath tonight as well. Right, laptop. Me and my sister need to catch up on last night's Love Island because we were out at my circus thing before tonight. So that's what we're going to do now. I need to take these dresses upstairs. The house is looking nice and tidy. Thanks to me. Thanks to my sister who's brilliant. If anyone needs a cleaner, look how cute this is. Look at my new phone case. <laughs> I love it so much. All the donuts. My sister's holding Echo. You won't you be. Becky, I filmed the cutest thing earlier of Echo having a pamper in a bed. Come on, little one. Aggie. So we're gonna put Echo in her bowl. There you go. You can have a run around whilst we watch Love Island. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we've just had oh my god it looks so bad i apologize um we just we're watching love island and we just had a chinese takeaway i'm so tired i think i have some sort of food intolerance because 
every time I eat, like afterwards, I'm exhausted. I could sleep, like I could fall straight asleep, and it's happened for years now. So I think I have some sort of food intolerance that makes me just like completely exhausted. It's probably um, gluten, to be honest. But I haven't cut it out or been to the doctor about it, so maybe I should. Like, when whenever we meet as a family, like the whole entire six family, and have a roast, I always fall asleep on the sofa, and everyone's like, "Oh, Katie's like, this is the time when Katie has a nap." But we've got the box fizz out. <laughs> Henny, do you want to be in my vlog or not? I'll just say hi. This is my my sister's best friend, Henny. Hey, she's great. <laughs> so yeah, we're just having a girly night. In with this the bear. This was the fortune I got in my fortune cookie. Interesting. I am already for bed now. I think I'm gonna end this vlog here just because of the weekend. Oh my god, look what this is. Look what this little bear is doing. It's what I've got to put up with in my bedroom now, isn't it? And um, yeah, because the weekend is gonna be a bit of a weird one. But I'll be vlogging again next week. I really hope you've enjoyed this. Sorry if it was really boring. Love you all.